Hey, what's going on everybody? Rodney Stokes here, and I'm gonna make this quick video. I'm gonna try to make this video as quick as possible. Um, but I wanna break down the three things, the only three things you need to know to infinitely scale any paid traffic campaign. It doesn't matter what the source of traffic is. It can be Facebook, PPC, AdWords, solo ads. It doesn't matter. Once you understand these numbers, you're good to go okay and these are the only things that you actually need to focus on i don't care what anybody says these are the only things you need to look at period okay so here's the first thing right here epc stands for earnings per customer all right so whatever offer you're currently promoting whatever program you're promoting is important to know obviously how much you get paid for each customer that you bring in for each customer you acquire you should understand how much you get paid on the front end, how much you get paid on the upsells, so on and so forth, okay? Now, of course, for those who are in MLMs and things like that where you can't necessarily control the funnel, control the capture pages, the front end offers, so on and so forth, you're limited, but you still need to know um, how much you get paid from the company, okay? For those of you who control your funnels, you create your own offers, you can infinitely play around with this and um, you know test different prices, upsell after upsell so on and so forth but understand earnings per customer is important to know right off the bat okay now you want to know your cpl that stands for cost per lead how much did it cost you to acquire that lead okay but before i jump ahead let's say for example your ad spend okay 55 dollars and that gave you 100 visitors Okay, now, out of those 100 visitors, your capture page converted at 30%, which gives you 30 leads on your list that you can either follow up with personally or your company has a follow-up process. Whatever you currently have, you have 30 leads on your list because your capture page converted at 30%. Makes sense so far, right? Okay, so now, $55. A person might look and say, well, $55 for 100 visitors, um, that's a little steep or that's above my my um, my budget. It really isn't. And I'm going to tell you why. It doesn't matter how much traffic costs. It does not matter. What matters is how much you make back. Okay. Now, keep that in mind. So, like I said, you want to understand your cost per lead. And here's the last thing. You want to stand LTV, which stands for lifetime value. And I'm going to show you how all of this mixes in together. So if you kind of lost right now, don't worry. I'm going to tie it all in. Okay. So let's look, look at this example again. You have one customer for a particular company that you're promoting. They pay you $30 per month residually for each customer that you acquire. So you have one customer out of this campaign of a hundred clicks that you pay $55 for. Okay. So now. That one customer just paid you 30 bucks. Now you can look and say, well, I spent $55 and I only made 30 back, which is great. Most people don't buy right away, period. Most people don't sign up day one because it's always a trust factor. Even when people have money, I mean, people can have a ton of money and they don't buy. It's either because they don't believe that it works or they don't trust you, period. You haven't convinced them enough. So that's why he said the fortune is in the follow up. OK, but let me not get off track. So you have one customer in one customer and that leaves you with 29 other prospects that you have to continuously follow up with. So paid $55 and you could say, well, wow, I lost, you know, that's a $15 loss. No, it's actually I'm going to tell you a little trick. I'm going to tell you an industry secret. This is how the big boys do it, okay? Now, inside of this space, inside of the business opportunity space, and take it from me, I've had multiple systems, multiple membership sites, and a lot of things that currently and previously paid me um, residuals, okay, on a monthly basis. And from what I've seen, it's around three to four months a person stays active, three to four months on average and you can look it up that's the industry standard it's an average okay in our space so if a person signed up today at thirty dollars a month you can basically say that's a hundred and twenty dollars in your pocket okay so if you're confused on how i got that 
that's 30 times 4 so you can easily say okay I'm in profit and I'm going to show you how this ties together I'm gonna show you how this all ties in together so $30 you might look at that versus the 55 and say I lost 15 no you didn't you actually are in profit you're well above profit because if that person stays on average from three to four months and if your company is good enough why wouldn't they you're active you're involved you're promoting it you love it obviously because you promote it why wouldn't they stay but let's knock this down a little bit let's say they get in and they stay for two months and then they say this is not for me right maybe they didn't get the training they look for maybe they just feel that they couldn't make it work okay they say it's not for me now that's 60 bucks so what you did was you still got profit. You still got profit from that one person out of 30. You still became profitable because it cost you $55. Sure, you're in a $5 profit zone. And you still have 29 other prospects to market to. 29 other people that you can get to sign up, that you can convert into a sale, into another $30 sale, another $30 sale, right? So what happened was this one customer paid for the rest of these 29 people to be on your list. It paid for the campaign. So that campaign became free. That is a prime objective for any campaign, no matter what traffic source, you want to make sure that your campaign is paid for. It's called a self liquidating funnel. It liquidates itself. It gives you your return on your investment period. And so when you have something that does that and you can count on it to do that, you can scale infinitely. Okay. Now here's the thing. What I'm talking about as far as the average and how long they stay, that's the lifetime value. So you need to understand you maybe you talk to your upline or maybe, you know, do some testing and, you know, run enough traffic to where you get to see the average of how long a person stays involved in your program, involved with your service, involved with your opportunity. And then from there, you can say, well, out of, you know, the past 30 people, the past 50 people, they stayed for three months. And now, you know, the lifetime, the average lifetime of each member and once you know that information is dangerous you can infinitely scale up because you don't have to be scared you don't have to be gun shy and say well i'll just try 100 clicks now and let's see how it goes no you can do a thousand clicks because these numbers won't lie they'll show up every single time okay now cost per lead let's do this let's break this down okay so if you spent $55 on a campaign and you ended up with 30 leads, so I'm dividing 55 by 30, that meant that you paid $1.83 per lead. So each lead on your list was worth $1.83. Okay? Hopefully you understand how I got that. Okay? $1.83 is your CPL which is your cost per lead. That's how much you paid out of pocket. So imagine, imagine you had a, a newsstand and uh, you had, you know, the National Enquirer, you had like the craziest stories and you know, you had aliens coming down and kidnap, kidnapping, you know, babysitters, you know, something crazy, right? And so someone told you, hey, down the street, I know people who are really interested in that crazy type of stuff. And, you know, I'm telling you, if you, post up down the street on that street right there each person that comes past i'll recommend them and i'll send them over to you and i'm not saying that they're going to buy it but i'm telling you that they're targeted because they like that kind of crazy stuff so me as a solo ad provider i'm telling you i have a list full of subscribers that are interested in work from home make money online related opportunities okay so all i do is i send out a recommendation to my list i say hey john smith has an amazing opportunity um they're building fast they have great support they have great training here's the link click it go check it out sign up get started so i send them to you okay so if you know that those people are targeted why wouldn't you have a problem spending a dollar and 83 cents to get those people in, into your funnel to get those people opening and flipping through the magazine right and from there is your job to close them okay whether that's on the phone whether that's a follow-up process or whatever but a dollar 83 cents is all you paid to get a highly targeted person to check out your offer raise their hand give you the information and say i love this i love it i like what i see so far tell me more give me to trust you tell me how i can get started tell me how i can win and guess what you only paid $1.83 for the person, and that person is worth at least 30 bucks to you. 
at least 30 bucks. Let's say that person is worth 60. Let's say that person is worth 120. So wouldn't you trade? How many times would you pay a dollar 83 to get 120, to get 60, to get 30? All day long, right? That's the way you need to look at these campaigns. It's not the price, okay? I wrote that down here. Uh, let's see. The cost of the traffic does not matter. The return is the only thing that matters. It's how much money you make. And I'm gonna give you um I'm gonna give you an example. Like I said, I'm gonna try to keep this video short, as short as possible. Okay, but I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you an example. It's a program that I'm in. It's a high ticket program. It costs uh it costs five grand to get in. Now, each person that I refer I get paid two thousand dollars so i'm gonna tell you the traffic source that i used and this was going on two years ago the traffic source was facebook ppc i know nothing about facebook ppc I, I dabbled in it years ago like five six years ago and i made you know a couple hundred bucks with some cpa stuff some affiliate stuff but since then i've you know lost i had some accounts banned so on and so forth you know so i ran some traffic with F facebook ppc i spent keep in mind I know how much money each cell is worth to me. I spent $800, $800 to acquire one cell. $800 to acquire one sale. Now a person might say that is insane. Why would you, why wouldn't you pause the campaign? Why wouldn't you call it quits? Why wouldn't you cancel? Why would I? Why would I? I know how much I can afford to spend to get one one sale, one person. So if I know that each sale is two two thousand dollars, guess how much I can afford to spend to get a sale? Two thousand dollars. So if if a sale pays me two thousand dollars, I can pay I can spend up to two thousand dollars on traffic. And if I get one sale, I broke even. Guess what I really paid for? I paid for data. I paid for data, and I don't want to get too in depth and you know over your head. But this is how the big guys do it. This is how, you know, the seasoned marketers, we understand this. You have to know your numbers, right? So look, I, I, with, the, um, with the traffic flow that I had coming in, you see, look, I put improve your funnel as traffic flows. Now, with that $800 that I spent, I, t I pocketed, keep in mind, this, this was not a loss. I made $1,200, right? Which is cool. Made $1,200. But the greater thing, the best thing, about that situation was I was able to improve my funnel as the traffic continued to flow. So I had hundreds and hundreds of uh, clicks, hundreds of uh, you know people seeing the capture page, people you know giving a thumbs up or thumbs down. This is the thing: the market will always tell you how they feel about what you're selling. They'll always tell you how they feel about your capture page, how they feel about the upsell, because people vote with their credit card, people vote on your capture page with their email address. So if your if your uh, opt in rate is crappy, you need to make changes. It's not their fault. It's your fault. You need to. Uh, you're not conveying the message properly. You're not reaching them f somehow. So you either need to tweak your title. You need to maybe change the color, change the button, the slightest thing. That's what split testing is about. Split testing is so important. The slightest thing makes all the difference. With that traffic flowing in, those hundreds of people coming in and those hundreds or dozens of opt-ins that I got, I was able to look at how my traffic, how my funnel was converting, how my people behaved once they were inside after they opted in, how many people stayed for the whole webinar, how many people left, at what time did they leave? And I was able to optimize and tweak and make the necessary changes. So I still made $1,200, but most importantly, I made the necessary changes to the funnel for future traffic. I bought data. I paid for that intel. I paid for the insight that I needed to improve the sales process. So all future campaigns were gonna be that much easier, okay? The higher your conversions, the more profit you keep. So if my conversion started off at 20% and I got it all the way up to 50%, or say I got it just up to 40%, and <laughs> and I made $1,200 from a 20% capture page, and the next campaign I run, the, the capture page is double, I can say, well, I should be in a ballpark of $2,400. Because typically when you double the conversions of your funnel, you double your profits on the back end. Of course, this is not a guarantee, but this is what you wanna shoot for, okay? Knowing your numbers will allow you to infinitely scale, okay? So, to wrap this up, in summary, you need to know and understand how much each customer is worth to you, 
you need to figure out or ask around or you know do your own testing find out the lifetime value how long each customer stays a customer and from there you'll be able to gauge how much traffic you want to buy and as the traffic flows you'll begin to see how much each lead costs you and that's based off of your capture page or whatever process you have on the front end to capture those leads if you improve the front end you greatly improve the back end okay hopefully i didn't confuse anyone for moving around as much as i did you got any questions feel free to reach out to me i hope this helps you out